Hi guys, another question on conditional probability similar to the one I've done recently. So I'm going to go slightly quicker on this one. We're given two events A and B that condition is satisfied show that this then holds. So this is a question of the form a statement, let's call it A implies B. And as I said we could start on this one and use some information from A to show that the statement holds or we can use this statement and then work on it to get B. So method one let's use some part of B and then show I'm going to use that to get the full statement B. Before I start it makes more sense to look at this more carefully. Look what is this condition? This condition is satisfied so it's satisfied means A and B are independent. So if A and B independent this result is saying that probability of not A given that B has occurred is the same as probability of not A i.e. doesn't matter probability of A not happening doesn't matter whether B has happened okay now I look at this guy here because I know these three results and I know if I use conditional probability I can use this one or this one so let's start off with this side I want to somehow introduce, can you see this condition does not involve not does not involve not A, it just involves A. So I want to get rid of that not A, that's what I'm thinking about. And I know I can use condition three here, I mean this uh, result three. If I do one minus this, that gets that gives me an output probability A given B. So I've got rid of the A complement. Then I can use result one. Why? Because now I've got probability A and B, which is the what condition. And now I can apply this condition. That is equal to A times probability of B. And probability of B's cancel. I'm assuming here that probability of B is not zero, otherwise this won't work, right? And then just take this bit to the other side and take probability of A to the other side. And then one minus probability of A applying result two is probability of not A. And then you've got the result done. Okay, method two. I'm going to start with this statement and work on it by, de by deduction to get this result. Right, we need some ideas here. I want to somehow introduce a not probability of A on the right and left hand side. So what I think to myself is, you know, I know this result 2 and 3. If I do 1 minus a certain probability of an event, it gives me the not of it. Uh, sorry, this one being a bit of a hurry here, look. Obviously I made an it's like error here haven't I? Look, that's not there and that's not there. Okay. One minus probability of an event will be the complement probability of the complement of it. Or I could put the complements there, alright? Okay, so let's go back here. So I'm thinking to myself if I multiply both sides of this by minus one and add probability of B to both sides. And if we look at the right hand side, then I've got a common factor probability of B comes out. And then I've got this, which is by result 2, is probability of not A. And here, common factor probability of B comes out as well. And then that gives me 1 minus that. And then by condition, by uh, 3, this is probability of, uh, probability of conditional probability of not A given B. Probability of B is on both sides since we're, cons we're supposing that it's not in zero, they just cancel. Okay, so that is that, and that is that, and we're done. Okay, which one? I always kind of wonder which one. Uh, which one do you guys like? Method one or two? Let me know. Like, share, comment. See you later.